Hi, I'm Emily. This is Fulcrum in 4, and we're going to go through some recent updates in Fulcrum. The recent updates really focus around two main themes. One is reporting and giving you new ways to get insights from your data. And the other big theme is improving the ease of use for your operators. Let's get started. The first update we'll look at is on the sales order grid, where you can see a list of all of your orders by status. And we recently added these graphs at the top where you can view the top customers and salespeople, and where you can view the sales order value over time. So the recent change that we made was the ability to click on the graphs in order to filter the grid. So I could click this in progress bar from January, and that filters the grid to only show me the sales orders that were started in January and that are still open, that are still in progress. So this gives you an easier way to filter and view your data. Okay, now that we're on the sales order, the next update that I wanna show you is the new status tab. So the status area on the sales order is meant to be a one-stop shop where you can see everything related to the order and the statuses associated with them. So all of the associated records, all of the line items and jobs, it all shows up here in more detail than it does on the main tab of the order. At the very top, you can see there's KPIs that show you high level, where it's at with being uh, worked on, purchased for, shipped out and invoiced. And then down here, you can click to get more detail. So you could even click on a PO and it would highlight the line item that is related to that PO. You could also click on a line, so this Moon Rover, and we could see details on the job for this. We've also made some updates to the jobs grid to give you more information about where the job is at. So this is especially helpful for production managers because you can now see the routing step with the most recent activity on the job, how many units have been completed. So you can see if any have been um, added to inventory already, if the job is partially complete, and then a little bit more detail about the job status. So how many hours have been accrued against this job. A bigger feature that we've been working on is more meaningful production reporting. So this page lives in the production tab in Fulcrum and the top area shows you shop throughput. So this gives you a sense of the value of work that's running through your shop over time. So you can see the dollar amounts over time, and you can also click on a month to see detail. But it gives you an idea of the amount of activity that your shop is producing. And then down here is the equipment utilization report. So this is a heat map of all of your pieces of equipment and of their total capacity, how much of it is actually being utilized. So this view gives you a look at any potential bottlenecks, pieces of equipment that maybe aren't being used that could be, and just a general sense of how efficient your shop is. Coming to this page, we're going to be adding reporting on make span, so how long a job takes from start to finish, and also dwell time. So within that job, how much of downtime is there? The next thing I wanna highlight are some improvements to job tracking. We're always trying to make Fulcrum easier to use for operators, so we're constantly making improvements to this area. The first thing that has changed is that the left side panel is easier to read. The statuses are clearer and the text is also clearer so that it won't be cut off the way that it was sometimes before. We've also given operators more control over their own time clocks. So I can click this pause all timers and it pauses anything that I was clocked into with just that one click. Operators also have the option to edit their own time clocks by clicking into this timer history. And then one change that came out recently was the ability to scrap not only this top level item, but also any materials that were picked on the job. So if you've picked something on this job, like you could scrap it from the same spot. The last update that we'll look at is the new data import section in Fulcrum. And this is where you can use any of these templates to mass upload items, vendors, customers, or other pieces of information. All you have to do is use a template and drag and drop it right here. This should make it a lot easier for you to do some mass data entry into Fulcrum. And that's a wrap on some of our most recent features. For more information, check out fulcrumpro.com or reach out to your launch or success manager. Thank you.